Hey everyone, watch this video all the way through, like, comment, subscribe, hit all the links and use my referral code. So we're going to be going over the fleet that I'm going to be buying with real money. Now I've purchased two ships in the store to use these as CCUs because I'm not really going to be using these ships unless I really have to until the Polaris comes out and those two ships are the C2 Hercules and the M2. Now the reason being is they're going to go up in price just a fair bit so I'm going to be able to use those to my advantage to make money off them. If I don't want to I can always just wait for they go till they go up in price and then go to Star Hangar and do it all over there because it could be worth it in the end to do that than to just wait. Now I've already got the MSR and I'm going to give you the reasons of why I've gotten all these individual ships and I want you to give me some feedback down in the comments below and just respond and help me out and see if I can do anything better or different so at the moment I've got the Mercury Star on and there's many reasons why I've got this ship and you will see from my previous videos on why I've got this ship it's purely because I have a fascination with this ship of being so capable of doing so many different things now people might not see it like this but I really see it having like a lot of potential at the moment it does but later on having so much more potential it's going to be ridiculous so my actual reasoning for buying the msr is purely because it's a data runner it's a freighting ship it's able able to haul illegal freight without being really obviously detected you can put people in that hauling area but at the moment that's not working but they won't be able to detect them if they are someone that they want or if they've got a crime set and just yeah, all that basic stuff. So we're going to get into my real reasoning is because I can use it for rock mining. I can use it for data running. I can use it for freighting. That is my daily driver. That is the ship that I'm going to be getting around in and I'm going to be using the most, obviously, because it's so maneuverable and it's just one of the best ships I've got at the moment. So another reasoning going on. So the reason I'm going to be getting the Polaris, so that's a capital ship. Yes, it's not a big capital ship, but it's big enough for me to be using it for the task that I want to use it for. Now I have many, many uses and I have different career choices in game right now and I know there probably should be one or two career choices but I've got several set up for myself. So for the actual Polaris, I'm going to be using it for mostly pirating and bounty hunting. Now who's going to chase a pirate in a Polaris if they haven't got anything any bigger and they can't really take it out? Because you've got those, what are they, size 5 cannons, you've got those missiles and I don't really see anyone trying to mess with that ship anytime soon, especially when you've got an onboard hangar with a small fighter. But obviously you've got the turrets, you've got the automated missiles, you've got all different options on that ship to the point where you can use it for pirating, you can use it for bounty hunting, you can also use it for prison breaks. So that has multiple upon multiple uses. You can use it for a bit of cargo hauling. I think it's got like 215... Uh, cargo I may be wrong but it just has so many uses to it where the point where you don't have to actually really think about what you're going to do with it well you do have to think about it but you can also use it for uh, transporting you can use it for um, cargo hauling like I've said but it's a lot of uses that people probably haven't really thought about what you can do with it because you've got like uh, escorting as well you can use it as a fighter carrier so you've got obviously this just that one ship but the escorting is a big thing so you could escort a Idris with two Polaris's if you really needed it as well because you could probably have other ships with you like a Javelin but that Polaris is just a really great option to have as an escorting ship so going from that onto the Merchantman now this has got a lot to do with the Endeavor that I'm going to be buying and I will get onto that in a little while. So the Merchantman has massive guns, like it's size six cannons, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's a Banu, so it's gonna be it's a really good ship over and all, and you can actually bring it down into atmosphere, which is also gonna be a good thing. So there's a lot of things we're not really gonna have to worry about with that ship, but there probably will be um, being like in the size comparison of the grand scheme of things. So the Merchantman has obviously got shops in it. You can use it to haul cargo. It's obviously going to be a great pirating ship as well. So the reason of the cargo hauling is because of the massive cannons on it. No one's probably really going to mess with it. You could also have like the Polaris or another ship um, escorting you if you're going to go sell some cargo in it. I mean, it's not the biggest cargo hauler, but it is one of the best. So that's one of the options there and why I picked it. Um, you can also... Like I said, yeah, car, like cargo haul in it. You can use it for, you could put your um 
like your refined ores in it as well. You can just have it as an all round pirate ship as well. It's just going to be, it's just going to have a lot of uses to it. I'm not going to be able to put this in proper words, but it's just going to have a lot of uses. So where the merchant man comes in as well is obviously seeing that I'm going to be having the endeavor. Now I'm not going to be getting the endeavor with a lot of things on it. I'm primarily going to have the with the collider and a hanger. So I'm going to be using the merchant man in with the endeavor so that when I create components, overclock components, create like better components for ships, I'm going to be able to sell them and trade them. So it's also I'm using it for uh, that because it's also a giant uh, capitalism ship, so you can be very well, capitalist off of it, make a lot of money. Now, obviously, the way it's going to be set up is if you have the bigger ships, they're going to make you money to buy down to smaller ships, and it's going to be probably a little bit difficult to buy up to bigger ships, but it just all depends, I guess. But my reasoning behind it is that I can also make better components for my ships, uh, friends' ships, and just have an all-round better experience with it. Now, I know it's not the best. Now, another ship that I could have and probably could just buy in-game and buy down to it is the Reclaimer. So I can use that as a salvaging ship and take parts to the actual Endeavor and overclock those components that we really need because it's going to be a big, it's going to be a major thing in the game to be able to overclock parts in to a point where they're going to outperform other components that are the same, but obviously yours are going to be far more out, uh, overclocked. You're going to be able to do a little bit of research and use the Endeavor for a lot of things, but I have my reasonings for having the selection I did. Now, people I've spoken to obviously have different like layouts and formats and people have sort of talked me into the Polaris, the Endeavor and the Merchantman just because they are such good ships. Now I'm not playing a game with keep up with the Joneses or I'm not trying to keep up with anyone. It's just the pure fact that the gameplay style that I have. Now I do love how the Polaris has so many different uses and that it's such a beefy capital ship. So obviously in that I have two Endeavor, uh, not two Endeavors, I have two capital ships and I have a large ship. So the Polaris and the Endeavor are capital ships. You've got the Merchantman, which is a large ship, and you've got the MSR, which is obviously a medium hauler data runner, but obviously has other uses for it as well, which unofficially are usable, but obviously doesn't really have it on its ship description. But that's the reasoning of me using those. You can also use a drop like a Ursa Rover. You can use the Merchantman for that. You can use the Polaris to do... Um, or type things like that but that's my reasoning behind it i'm going to tag info runners in a community post if you guys could do like a video response to it if you guys want to do collab or sort of talk about this and see what i can do better and can change it that would be fantastic but if i don't get a response that is perfectly fine i'm happy with it but that is the reasoning behind why i want to get those ships and like i said if you want any sort of um, input let me know down in the comment section below don't forget to check out all our links the referral code and yeah hope you guys have a great day don't forget about free flight in star citizen if you want that use my referral code and i do have a link where you can get it free obviously because it's been in free mode but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed peace